What is going on guys? Welcome back to my survival world and as you can see already we were I built up the Enderman farm mostly to everything we need. We just gotta finish up the pathway so it's not this one long 200 block skinny thing that they could even spawn on like we see right here. They're working on this for the past like day I guess. Or something like that. So now I'll show you guys how it works. So you just insta kill them like this. I can look at my levels already. I have been using this quite a lot and it works pretty well. And another cool thing I like about this is that I put this lever in here that'll drop the blocks like that. So they'll die instantly as soon as they drop. And I died. Anyways, we'll ignore that and get back over there. Alright, now on our way back, you can see how they're running through the center. I hate how they teleport over here. I don't know how to fix that. I'll try to figure that out on my own. I might put fences instead, but we'll just live with it for now. All we gotta do now to finish this up is put the finishing touches on. You see, we're getting so many ender pearls. I just gotta figure out. I probably have to shift this over by one. So they don't teleport in here and I'm about to die again. So I built this. I thought we would have like a little platform up here to do what we need. And down here will be like the killing chamber almost. So we'll just like. I thought this side we could do chests. And over here we could put an enchantment table. So I actually prepared for that. We brought one enchanting table, which we'll do right here. We gotta eat and we gotta put the books around it. Perfect amount. Kind of annoying how it branches it goes into the window, but we'll just ignore that. It looks pretty it doesn't even look like it's supposed to fit there, but it's fine. Just make sure we're not even gonna test it. Yeah. And for the other side. We need to put chests so we could store ender pearls. So I'll do that for now. We do this just like that. We'll have it in between the windows. And over here we'll put a double chest for our enchantments. If like we want to store them here. And now it's complete. I forgot to bring glass. But I'll do that on my own. So... And we get into it we'll go more in depth on how this actually works in a second uh we have an endermite up there in a minecart with a name tag what it does is that all the endermans are attracted to it because they want to kill him so that's why he's up there and then when they like run over there we have trap doors underneath or not underneath it but like right below i don't know if you could kind of see it so they'll just run and fall and we can just kill them but just like this and we need to put it up and we'll wait for a bunch to uh come down so we could mass kill them this is a real problem they love to come right here i guess it's the easiest for them to teleport so we're gonna have to fix that soon but we got a bunch of Endermen right here already. Some of them die because we have water up there and they take damage when they run, but... Nonetheless, it still works pretty efficiently. And we could just come by, sweep them up just like this. And then we absorb all the XP. This will probably be our main XP farm for now because of just like how good it is. I started like earlier today, I was just at like level 60 and... Or even like before that. And now we're up to level 81. So it is pretty effective. But now we got to build our little pathway to get over the get back to like the main base. We're just going to have a basic stone pathway for now. I'll try to make it look cool. So we'll just get right to building it. We're going to take we'll just take everything. So we're going to have it like this. And we also have to put slabs above us so 
they won't be teleporting onto the pathway, which will give us better spawn rates up top. So I'll get this started and catch back when it's done. Building out, I noticed that this is a huge problem. And oh, I pissed some off. We gotta run and hide. Oh, they're right behind me. Oh my gosh. Just run, run. All right, we're safe. That was so close. Once it's safe, I'll start going back. So now that we have at least one side of the path done, we'll go fill in the glass just so it's complete. I got it right over here. So just boom, 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 boom. All right, glass is all filled in. Just smack these people off the ledge. And uh, yeah, I don't really like the stone brick in the end, but you know, it's what I had the most of, so it'll work. We'll go even collect some more XP while we're down here. I'm gonna be tweaking it too, try to making it more efficient. So they don't like s teleport all over the place. So this is the only spot that they'll want to fall. Some of them aren't even taking damage or just teleporting. We'll finish up this first pathway right here. If these people let me through. So we'll do this. I think fences will be the way to go because I don't think they're spawning over on the other side where I have fences. Only right up here where there's slabs. Because when I was building it, I didn't think they could teleport onto slabs. I thought, oh, they had to be like full blocks like this. That's a mistake I made. I'll have to just fix that eventually. I, another thing that I plan on doing in the future is switching this out to, how do you call it, ice. So we could use our boats, boat system. But we have like, I don't have any blocks of ice. And I think we even need packed ice for it. So that'll be a project for down the road when whenever we're ready for that we're slowly running out of stone brick i like have this and then one stack left but we should be perfectly fine for the sides i want to do like a wood fence thing just like this it would look really cool i think with the, the slab the roof and it will make us not fall so we'll just build this up and we're gonna run out of wood because that thing took like three stacks almost. I forgot how much one side is. It's 200 blocks. So for this and then that, I'm going to need 400 blocks. And I'm going to have to go. I don't even think I have that much wood in my chest. So I'm going to have to like farm some up in the meantime. So I'll try to get that over with. Uh, we ran out. I knew that was going to happen. And we still have probably like another halfway to go. So I have to go back home and uh, get some more wood. And hopefully I bring it up this time. Because the journey is takes a while. It's We got the first part of it done. So now we won't be running on this little skinny one block wide. My bad. So now it's, we got a main pathway. We're going to fill the side with fences. I got all the wood we need. This should be it. We should be able to finish this up once and for all without going back to the overworld. And, oh man, this is this has been a very intensive project. You know? I had to, like... I don't even know how many times I had to, like, run back and get stuff. But we should be finally set... And I think the fences look even look nice the way it is either way, so we'll keep it as it is. That's already a stack. So we'll just keep going and hope that we don't get killed doing this because I'm tired of fighting these Endermen. I don't even know how they kill me so fast. Do I still have like No, like my armor doesn't do anything actually. It's all for the it's all fire protection almost. So I'm gonna finish this up and another stack done. Wow. All right. Maybe 200 blocks wasn't the smartest move. I'm just gonna end up shifting this all the way over there. Nah, I'm playing. This works like a charm. 
Alright boys, um, seems like we got some people that don't want us to come out, they're mobbers, they're the uh, rioters from last year, if you guys know what it means, they're trying to kill me. I'll have to try to smack them off the ledge, I just have to kill the ones that are mad at me. Alright, so now we got all the fences we need, hopefully, that I'm pretty sure this is enough, I know we need over three stacks, and we got so many endermen spawning on our pathway that it's getting in the way so i'm gonna try and not die while we do this we have to like smack them off the ledge if they get in the way so we'll just run all the way down and then next is going to be the hardest part i'm going to be putting up um oak slabs as the roof at two and a half blocks and then water above that so hopefully we won't have any problems with Enderman spawning after that. Let's smack him off. And that should mark at least the completion for now. We could always come back and upgrade it, which I might eventually do. Because I don't really like the stone brick in uh, the end. I, I'm, I like the way quartz looks, but we don't have any of that. So I'm going to have to slowly gather up. Like a chest full of quartz before we even try to upgrade this but it works for now it's fine we'll live with it i like it i already i got like 40 levels off of it so far so it's a pretty good farm won't be our main xp farm for now there we go so we're gonna have like one two just like that two and a half blocks tall so we won't have any enderman problems with it so we're gonna have to just do this all the way down this will probably be the most tedious part to be honest i almost said tbh <laughs> what's, what's wrong with me all right let's try not to lose any because any every block counts i'm gonna need i don't even know how many stacks of uh slabs i'm gonna even need i'll just turn up turn like all of this into slabs and hope that it's enough because I'm sick and tired of going back to get more wood. Just want to be done with this. All right, so we got a little bit over, a little over seven stacks of uh, slabs. Hoping it's enough. We still got 32 logs left, but I'm sure they'll put a huge dent into it if not even complete it. But I'm not too sure about that. Oh man, we're running low. This is our last stack, and look how much more we still got to do. Oh, this is going to be close making me a little nervous now i don't want to have to make one another trip i've made too many so far i'm hoping i have some wood hidden in my shulker box that i have at the uh over there at the farm oh gosh and i didn't even fill all this and i just built around them for now which should be fine no we don't have anything Anyways, we have we need two more stacks we're gonna make. Oh, this is we're gonna have to make another trip, I already know it. Yeah, definitely. Oh gosh. This is this is taking me about like two real life days of like getting on and off. I probably put about ten hours into this farm. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna yell at me? How are you gonna come at me? I'm under the slab. How are you going to hit me? How are you going to hit me? There we go. That's what I thought. Oh, we're going to have water hanging off the sides. So there's like no chance of them spawning. It's not going to look the best, but it's the, it'll be the most effective for now. Y'all will see that once I do it. Oh gosh, we're down to our last stack again. And look how much more we still got to do. I think we're going to need about maybe three more stacks to top it off i'll just do that once i run out of this and oh this is pray that i don't die or have to make any more trips i won't have to i won't have to come here like once a week and then we're done because you know traveling to the end is not very fun 
especially when you don't have a way to get there. I have to be swimming, and we ran out. So I'm going to run back, and I'll get four stacks of slabs. That should be more than enough, to be honest. So we'll get that over with. But we're halfway done with all the slabs we brought. Oh, we're fine. We are fine. And the water is going to be easy. I could just fill that in. It messed up again. We don't even have to go back. I could just... It'll be annoying, but... We have a water source over there, as you guys probably already know. So... I'll try... I'll grind this out real quick. I'm trying to be fast, so I keep messing up my block placements. And an airplane is flying by. I don't know if you guys hear that. I have my window open. It's so nice outside. It's like the 50 degrees for the first time in months almost. Alright, it's done. Nope. Last one. Alright, now it's done. We're going to make a little walkway upstairs. Just like that. Look at these goons dying. Because they're going in the water. Oh gosh, look at all the ones on top. I'm going to have to like, place another block on top, just like this. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to have to like to make all these water source blocks so they uh, don't spawn. And I can't just place it on top because the, the way the water mechanics work, it places it under. So, oh gosh. Fall, fall. Okay, we're good. So we'll just do this and go all the way down with it. Oh, this is sick. We don't even have to, like, walk back. We can just keep going forward. Well, this is going to be pretty fast. And I was thinking about a name for this. I think we should call it the Ender Melter. Because, <laughs> you know, we melt the Endermen when, when they kill, when they die. I think that's a pretty cool name. That'll be what we call it for now. And we're actually speeding through this a lot faster than I thought it was going to take. And now we have to go back in. Pick up all the blocks. Oh, this is going to be... This is what's going to take a while. We have to do this like four times, I think. A little more, maybe. And I think we'll do the same thing for the actual ender base. But oh, we're losing so many slabs. But I just got to cover up the redstone. I think it's still exposed. I'll just go double check it. Yeah, the redstone's still open, so... I'm going to have to fix that. And you know what? We'll try to do this too because this is bothering me i don't have a minecart here the only problem we're gonna have now is the ones that spawn inside but i have an idea on how we'll fix that make our way back oh gosh swimming is hard wait maybe if i come down here i could there we go this is how we go this is how we really move or not let's go look on the side see if you could see what i mean yep i hate that so much we did the same thing there. Jeez. Alright. Maybe we should do a little bit at a time so we could just speed right through it. And I'm not going back to just finish off the slabs. I refuse to. Oh, we could do every other block. Oh, that's going to save us so many slabs. I don't really understand how water mechanics work, so if I'm doing something stupid... Or like that seems stupid, then my bad. I just I just don't understand it. Oh gosh. Oh that that was close. What are you gonna do? You're gonna come in the water? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't know what you want, you're gonna die, exactly. Slowly making progress. This is one hell of a project, and this is not even the biggest one I'm gonna have in this world, so. Kind of makes me nervous for <laughs> how everything else is going to be, but I feel like it's going to be so worth it once it's all done and I'll feel accomplished. And that's another one. We're getting there. Please don't fall. I'm trying not to lose any more slabs. I'm, I'm so used to like the old 1.8 Minecraft that like everything in the new updates, I don't even like understand for the most part because I just never like cared enough to like look into it and learn about it. I've just been stuck on the old classic, if that makes any sense. 
we gotta change that i feel like more and more are spawning as like there's less area for them to spawn so it's gonna get more tedious as we get through it but i'll manage we're just gonna have to do this then like two at a time so they all disperse i want to see them all like melt at the same time almost if that makes any sense just like all of them getting damaged by water and i actually end up having another bucket that i didn't realize so we'll use that and we'll like try to rapid place the water and see how they all look when they die and oh my gosh we're getting so close to the end i could taste it <laughs> what the fuck? i'm so weird okay so we're gonna tr try to like insta place everything like this and then let's go oh it's already started and this is i'm not doing this as fast as i was expecting I think this is faster to be honest oh gosh look at they're all taking damage it's music to my ears i think now they're going to start teleporting to the island we're so close we're almost at the end and we lost another slab honestly i'm gonna only take like half of this because I'm impatient and we're not even gonna like if I need more slabs I'll just make them we're not gonna see this if we do so be it so we're gonna swim through oh we messed up we're gonna have to collect that there we go and now this should be the last run we only need one two three more hoping they go to the edge and not <laughs> onto the obsidian oh boy all right we messed up the placement, but it's okay. Moment of... Oh, yeah, it's... Damn it. All right. So, I'll just put fences along the top here. So, they won't... Hopefully, it doesn't... None of them spawn or do anything up here. There we go. Stone brick, and then we'll just... Place the fence. Just like that. There we go go around it's complete finally oh my gosh guys you have no idea how like excited i am oh 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 god uh deep inventory kind of came in handy that time <laughs> oh gosh i did not mean for that to happen we'll make our way back and finish up the video oh wow all right we made it back we're about to jump in the portal and we're about to see how it looks like at the end the final whoa this this actually looks pretty sick got no endermen spawning in here on top the water particles are annoying once 1.17 comes out and optifine comes out i'll probably end up turning water particles off if that's even a setting i think it is just because of this you can see in the base it's pretty annoying too and we have some water spilling in that's not good so we'll go we'll run over here oh it's just because of the fence all right that's fine dig this out and then boom we gotta fill it in so don't update just like that and then this we gotta pick up boom it's done now we got like maximum efficiency almost besides like the slabs above and uh this little part right here it's just exactly three blocks i'm gonna have to adjust it i'm gonna have to cover this up i thought water Falls on the edge would be actually a cool addition. And water just loves to attract each other. It doesn't make any sense to me. Here we go. There we do. One. And then two. We gotta do this. Just like that. Alright. 
Now that it's working, I don't even know how the, how they're dying. Oh yeah, it's because I have water up there too. Yeah. We'll do one good harvest. We'll see how much ender pearls I get from it. We'll just throw all, all our junk in here to gauge. Yeah, like that. We gotta fix that. That we can't have that happening. So come down here. We already got two. We'll go start sniping them. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Boom, boom. All right, after being here for like a, not even a minute, we already got a bunch of stacks of ender pearls. So this thing is actually pretty sick. We'll just throw these in the chest. Oh my gosh. Collect our stuff. And actually, we'll have this this crafting table is going to stay here forever. We'll have it right, right here in case we ever need. And we'll drop this. Do a final kill. And I died again. How is that even possible? I gotta fix the edging. I'll do that on my own. So, we'll make our way back and end the video. So, Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was very different than usual. We completed our Ender Melter. That's what we're gonna call it from now on. And... Yeah, next episode we're gonna... Uh, I have a few ideas what we might do for next episode, so I'll decide on that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and you can only do that if you want to. I'm not making you, obviously. I love you. And with all that being out of the way, there's nothing else for me to say, so bye-bye.